guys welcome to my channel art saga and to the new tutorial video how to draw curtain walls and store fronts if you are new to this channel please check out my previous videos and like and subscribe my channel so guys let's start Here we are back with the same plan. So if you want to know how I color coded this plan and created this legend, you need to go and check my previous tutorials. So for now I will just go and remove these colors to let you know how to draw curtain grids and curtain system. So I will go to edit scheme and check here none option and say apply ok and I will delete this. So after deleting this, nothing is changed in the plan, just the color coding is off. So now we want to draw curtain wall, store fronts and curtain glazings. So we will go to a 3D view and I will just draw some walls. So you will find curtain grids inside the wall tab in architecture tab. So I will go to walls and go into wall architecture. After clicking that, you will find this option but by default I have drawn, uh, drawn some curtain walls before so it was selected. So you need to go down, scroll down and check for curtain wall tab. So you will find it here, curtain wall, exterior grazing and storefront. So let's draw and see what are the differences between these three. So I will first start with curtain wall and I will draw it here. So this is a curtain wall. Now I will draw a exterior glazing. I will start it from here and here. And now I will draw a store frame. So I will draw it from here till here. You can see some differences visually. This is a curtain wall which is a full glass. This is a glazing, exterior glazing which has some partitions which have some curtain grids. So if you tap tab you can select each and every glass entity. And this is a storefront. So this has some intersection which is horizontal and vertical and on those in intersections we have some mullions. So let's see how to draw a curtain grid and then add mullions on a wall. So on a storefront. So this is the best example. This is a curtain wall. So I'll again go to architecture and you can see three tabs here. Curtain system, curtain grid and mullion. Basically we will not use curtain system right here because this is used in massing. So we'll check for curtain grid and mullions. So before drawing a mullion you should have a curtain grid system. So this is a curtain grid system on a exterior glazing. So you can only place a mullion if you have curtain system. So let's go and try mullions. So I can place mullions on a curtain system. So in this type there is no curtain system and there is no mullion. So let's try adding some curtain grids. So let's say I draw it here. I am just drawing it on random distances. You can also have some fixed distances here. So you can see if I ho hover my mouse on this edge a vertical segment will appear and if I hover my mouse on this edge like a vertical edge and horizontal curtain grid will appear. So I will draw it here and I will draw it here. I will again go for vertical and done. So here is my custom curtain grid system. So now I can add some mullions over it. So I'll add mullions. So here is my mullion. I just have to click on it and a blue line will appear and again I have to click. So then the mullion will appear. So again I'll add mullions here. I can add on all the sides. So here is my custom storefront or you can say a curtain wall with all the mullions I want. If I want to change any distance between two mullions or two curtain grid, so how can I do that? 
so if you directly select a mullion and try to move it you cannot move it so i am just trying but i cannot move it because it is entitled to the curtain grid so i have to tab tab and select the curtain grid and now you can see the distances appear on screen so i can either use arrow keys to move it so i am using an arrow key and i am moving it to left or right so as the distance i want i can move it and i can say i want this distance and this is done again you can tap tap it now you don't want to change it you can go and pin this so now even if you want to move it you cannot move it because this is pinned so this was mullion and curtain grid now we will go to the store front now we have these from before so if i go and tap tap and select this i cannot move this curtain grid because this is pin so i have to unpin this and move it but if you have a bigger system like a bigger grid system you cannot go and uh, click on every uh, curtain grid and move it manually so here's an option so you select a curtain store curtain wall store front and this property tab will activate then you go to edit type in edit type you can change the spacing you can change the mullion type which can be circular or square or rectangle you can change the horizontal distance between two mullions and a vertical distance between two mullions so and also change the materials so let's go with vertical grid the layout the vertical grid is this one so the layout is maximum spacing so let's say i want it at fixed distance so when i keep any distance all the mullions will be on that distance only so i will say fixed distance now my distance would be 1000 mm let's say and i'll apply and okay and i'll go to this curtain grid and select by tab tab yes this is 1000 i'll again go and select this is 1000 so now if i want my distance to be 900 so again i'll select the store front and go to uh, vertical grid i'll select this as fixed distance i'll say this 900 and say apply and okay so if i say apply and okay this is 900 but on this edge this would not be a 900 because the length of the store front is not in the multiple of 900 so till here it can be the 900 but now the mullion has to be adjusted so revit had adjusted it default and it would be a 600 mm distance now if i go and change again i'll select store front we need to tap tap edit type and i'll say it maximum spacing 900 900 apply and okay all my distance would be 882 now because so it has randomly distributed the length as per the total length so this cannot be 900 it had adjusted it to 882.4 mm so you can adjust it likewise same goes for the horizontal grid system so i go and check this is fixed distance i will say this should be 1000 mm apply and okay so now it has split and added some multiple mullions on the distance of 1000 mm center to center so these are our store front mullion and curtain grid system now let's see how we can add them on our plan so i just delete it and close this 3d view and we are on our plinth level so i'll just select all instances visible in view and delete this window so we can add store front and a curtain wall here so we need to draw some curtain walls i'll go to wall wall architecture i'll start with curtain wall i'll draw it here so you can see the wall is not cut i'll tell you why again i'll draw exterior glazing now you can see the wall is not cut now i will draw a store front and now you will see the difference so the wall is cut now because wall can only be cut if it, ha it has a mullion in it these two walls does not have a mullion so in 3d we go so this is a store front which has a mullion so the wall is cut 
this wall is not cut because it has doesn't have mullion and this cannot also be cut so how so if i don't want any mullion i just have some curtain glazing and i want to cut it to, through the wall so there is an option so i'll select the wall you go to modify section tab and you will find the cut geometry option here so in modify section tab a cut geometry option so i'll go to modify again cut select the wall first which you want to cut so i'll select the wall and select the stove front or the curtain glazing so i have selected it i'll try it again sorry select the wall and as soon as you see some dotted lines over the curtain wall then again select it and you can see the wall is cut again i'll select the wall and wait for dotted line so here it is and i'll cut so if you go to 3d you can see this is our wall and i have cut this storefront curtain wall and exterior glazing now we want to have some height restrictions because this cannot go till infinity so if you have not watched the wall tutorial you need to go and check the wall tutorial for constraints so i'll directly go on constraints now i'll select the storefront and you can see the top constraint is unconnected so my first floor level height is 3600 mm which is 3000 mm above the print plinth level so i'll select the storefront go to constraint and the top constraint should be first floor level and as soon as i set it my mullions and my curtain glass will be adjusted to this height again i'll go here and i will say first floor level and say okay this would be adjusted again to the first floor height for this i'll just go again say first floor level and again it is adjusted now there is again the same process if i want to add some curtain grids in these two i go and add curtain grids i go and add curtain grids and then if i want mullions i will go and add mullions to this ends so you can add this now so if i want a circular mullion what i can do i'll select this mullion and drop down and i have some circular mullions so i'll select 50 mm radius so yes this is changed i want to change this as well and this is changed i'll change this drop down 50 mm again i'll say 50 mm circular so my this store front has some circular mullions in the between and it has a rectangle mullion at the end i can also change its height uh, sorry i can also change its radius so if i go to edit type and scroll down i have an option called radius so i can change the radius from this so if i want a 25 mm or a 10 mm mullion i can change it from here same goes for rectangular mullion if i select this i have some uh, if i select this and open type properties i can change the material i can change the width like it is 25 by 25 mm mm this is a squareical mullion i can change it as per my standards so you can change it likewise so guys today we learned what are curtain walls what is exterior glazing what is a store front what how we can draw curtain grids how we can add mullions to it and how to add a curtain wall or a store front on our plan so please practice this if you have any queries you can ask me in the comments or email me and please follow my facebook page stay tuned for my next tutorials thank you